All right, property number two is right here. This is wild. I don't know if I'll make this all one video or I'll make this two videos. But here's the second one. My wife told me that's a raven that's been following me around. And uh, it's baby season. They can get very aggressive. Here you go. Long Reality. This place is on the market. So if you're in the market for a new house in the country, boy, that raven is just so angry. I wonder if they had a little garden over there. Look at that fence line. It's so weird. I wonder if that was a little garden. I don't know. Oh, this house doesn't look much, much better. Back on with the mask here in a minute. I may separate these videos just because, just because this is going to start getting too, too long. Let's see if there's anything back here real quick before we do the, the little trailer on the property. No, I don't see anything else. Oh, that's pretty neat. So, Cool to see one of those. I'm gonna assume that both of these properties that are right next to each other either had the same owner or they both been abandoned for a long, long time with two different owners, but it'd be really odd. These are the only two houses on this dirt road. Boy, there are just clothes galore. Wow. Okay. Wow. Oh, the bees. Everything it's, has bees. Bees galore everywhere we go. Okay, got my mask back on and my gloves on for round two. Let's see what's in, let's see what's in this one. Must have been where the old hot water heater was, I would assume. That's a very typical setup here in the desert for, for where you put your hot water heater. Oh, look, a little dog hut. Yeah, a little doogie. Oh, this one's not nearly as bad. Here's the bathroom. Okay, now that's like interesting. This is a door that was ripped off and you're gonna walk in and the first thing you see is a bathroom. Okay. Boy, there's a lot less in this old place than there was in the other one. Oh, we don't even have to, and look at this, this is the bedroom. There's the bed, this is the bedroom, and the door is right there. Boy, a lot of locks on this door. One, two, three, three locks I can see over here. Wow, maybe I'm not in a super safe area. <laughs> oh my, this must have been the living room. Tiny living room. This was a really tiny place. Here's another door. One, two, three locks on this one as well. You see how well locks do. 
people have still managed to get in here. Oh, this is pretty neat, an old TV. Oh, oh that's pretty cool. The old TV, there's an old microwave. Looks like an old toaster oven right there. Some cups. What do we got here? Alan's Black Eyed Peas. Dishes. Lots of dishes. Huh. All right. Here we go. Is there anything in here? Oh, my. This is why I wear a mask and gloves when I do this stuff. Not nearly as much on this side, though. A little bit of stuff left. The freezer had a lot. The freezer had a lot of stuff in it, though. Okay. Well, this was house number two. They just sit, they sit literally across, right next to each other, side by side. But there's the fence line that that separates them, so I don't know. I don't get it. Maybe there was high hopes. I mean, look, you don't see anybody around. The only car you see, that's mine over there. And there's nothing really going on out here. Welcome back. The winds are super high as always today. Another exciting video for you.
infested with bees, that is for sure. So cool. I think there's much left of it. What happened to this old place? Bathroom. are everywhere in here. Well, here's the kitchen. Sure, if this belongs to the to the farmer or who this old house belongs to. Huh. Definitely an awesome old place. <laughs> 